recently we took the kids to a children's museum and also one day we went to Toys R Us just to like walk around and see everything. And in both places, the kitchen section of the children's museum and the Melissa and Doug section of Toys R Us had these really cool salt and pepper shakers, like play ones for the toy kitchens. So I wanted to find them, but Melissa and Doug is so cool, but it is so expensive. So I wanted to try to make our own play salt and pepper shakers for Miss Cassidy's kitchen. So what you need for this are salt and pepper shakers. These are the ones I got at Dollar Tree and they're plastic. Um, I have these ones that we actually use that I got from Dollar Tree too, but they're glass. So I want to get these because they're lighter and then if she drops them or whatever, um, they don't break. So then you need, I was looking for beads that were white or black to be like salt or pepper. And I couldn't find any beads, but Haley found these. These are pebble, pebbles, decorative accents. They're just tiny rocks. These are white. And they're black. These are black. So all we're gonna do is hot glue. Oh, you also need a glue gun and glue. So I'm gonna open up these salt and pepper shakers. I open mine. I'm going to, from the inside, hot glue the holes, and then I'm gonna hot glue them shut. So the pebbles won't fall out of here and then also so she can't get them open to spill the pebbles all over the place because especially with younger kids like if you're afraid they're going to put them in their mouths or anything you want to make sure they're sealed So I'm gonna let the tops dry for a minute. While they dry, I'll just tell you final cost for this little project. The white rocks were a dollar, black rocks were a dollar, the shakers were a dollar, so that's three bucks. Four if you have to buy glue for your glue gun, but yeah, that's a lot cheaper than the actual Melissa and Doug ones would be. <laughs> it's funny and the bunny one fit in the fridge. So this is dry, we're gonna now glue it to the Lid. Maybe I'm gonna glue this and stick it on. Pretend to shake that we're putting our pepper on. And I think these came out really cute. What do you think? A little, bit of, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and they can sit in her little toy kitchen. I love it. I think they came out really cute, you guys. So, and a lot cheaper than getting the actual ones. So, you want an ice pop? We gotta freeze them. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys for watching, and that is our little DIY toy. Because this Dollar Tree doesn't have a freezer that we went to. Alright, so I will see you guys in my next video.